As you can see, I look pretty excited today and I hope you enjoyed the vlog that I did at uh, Van Cleef today when I went to Pavilion with my girlfriend. I really really did expect to be able to get this piece and I'm so happy. Uh, and I guess you can see, um, you know, like it was really fun today with champagne and um, special chocolates at Van Cleef that apparently goes very well with champagne. So let's get right into the unboxing guys. So. Um, Bankly paper bag as per usual and oh before that I did get um serum from from the corte so I guess maybe um I'll do a beauty video later because I've been buying a lot of skincare and like hair care makeup stuff lately but that'll be a different video so let's get right into the main topic of today which is Van Cleef and our pals so as usual this is the folder with the receipt and the travel uh, pouch so i think you can guess what i got from the title as well um as usual i think this is the um gosh guys i forget i forgot what this is but i think this one has the uh, soft cloth inside so anyway this is it and the booklet and the certificate yep and the certificate that comes with um van cleef items the authenticity card from Van Cleef. Okay, I will sort this out later, but it's important guys to keep the certificate and the receipt nicely. Oh, sorry, yeah, I remember. It's like this anyway. Just in case, who knows, you might want to sell it later or just for your own reference because you always get the date that you bought it on on the certificate and ta-da this is the familiar white box with the green ribbon so let's get right into the unboxing it was really really unexpected guys i didn't expect to be able to get this piece because as you know this is always always uh always has a very long wait list so i was just super super lucky to get it and ta-da! I've got the Vintage Alhambra 5 Motif Bracelet in Gyoshe. Gyoshe is so difficult to get, guys. It is so bling. I'll have to say that Van Cleef really deserves the, um, uh, the Couture Jewelry House name. The workmanship is just very, very beautiful, even for Alhambra pieces. And obviously, this is not even high jewelry, but this is a very, very sought-after variation of the Alhambra 
So as many of you would know, I do have the Carnelian 5 Motif Alhambra bracelet that I wear 24-7. And today I decided to mix metals and I did wear my white gold mother of pearl vintage Alhambra size earring. And I can't believe I finally got the guilloche piece. Everyone, it's so pretty, so, so pretty. It also looks really, really good as a necklace. As you can see here, you can basically double it up. I can double it up with my carnelian bracelet now and wear it as a choker. Or you can actually get a um, special chain extender and just wear it this way. So I think this is great for evenings. It's so blink, guys. Let me get closer. Okay, so now I'll put it onto my a wrist and I decided not to shorten it um, just as I have not with my carnelian because I like the little charm hanging like that and also because I just want to have the option of, um, sorry that's my shih tzu the option of bell the option of connecting it as a necklace so let me show you how to how I get it on um, so you just basically claps it like right before the last uh, motif. It's a bit of a challenge if you're not used to it, especially if you have long nails like I do. So it takes a bit of practice. Okay, I'm gonna pause this first. Okay, yeah, I got it on. So guys, this is how it looks. It's so pretty. It is so beautiful, even on its own, but I'm just gonna double it up with my carnelian um, bracelet as you can see here it just goes really really well together obviously both are yellow gold and i just love love the guilloche design i'm sure many of you would know the vintage alham i mean the alhambra design was also inspired by both the four leaf clover and also by the uh, alhambra palace in spain the arches so look at the workmanship guys it is so bling it is really, uh, it's handmade and uh, obviously made in France and basically the surface of the Alhambra instead of a stone, it is gold, yellow gold and it is actually carved um, and cut, right? Like really, really beautifully in order to reflect the light so that it looks so, so super bling. So guys, I am so happy that I managed to get this bracelet. I was just really, really lucky because um, I think my new essay, because I had to change essays because my previous essay already left uh, Van Cleef, who was super kind to me, love her. And so she recommended me her, her she recommended her colleague to me and just so happened that his client actually uh, booked this, but then um, basically when the item arrived, the client did not respond for quite a while. So he decided to release it to me, um, you know, when I just happened to walk in today, I didn't even make any appointments. So sometimes the best stuff happens when it's not, best stuff happens when it's not planned. Uh, and I really didn't expect to get anything. So sometimes I think having low expectations or no expectations really can uh, give you a really, really nice surprise. Uh, earlier, I went into Hermes and as you know, I've been quite disappointed. There's nothing to buy at Hermes. Everything is just on display and you know, there's uh, no bags, even garden party, her bags, this kind of relatively uh, easier to get bags in the past. There's nothing, supply chain issues apparently. And Guilloche waiting list is also super long. So I'm really surprised and very happy that I got this. And I'm now I'm on the waiting list for the earrings because I think it will make a great um, combination earrings I'm not sure if I should get the pendant as well let me know what you guys think and I'm basically really really excited today and really really happy that I got this also I'm really um, I guess I'm feeling a lot more relaxed because next whole week I'm gonna be I'm just taking a break uh, taking leave my sister is coming back etc I'm doing my own stuff running my own errands I love working but I guess sometimes it's good to have a break so um, I'll still be working a little bit though um, as most of you would know, those who know me in real life would know. But anyway, I love this piece, guys. So if you are thinking about a guilloche, I would definitely advise you to get it if it's available in your local store. It's just so hard to get and it is so bling. Like videos and photos do not do uh, VCA pieces justice. They look so much better in person. Trust me, guys. It is beautiful. So do let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have questions and 
uh, let me know what your wish list is at VCA. So since this is still October, this is still part of my birthday present. So I um I'm, I guess that's how I'm justifying this purchase. And for those of you who have known me for a while, you know that I always can't make up my mind, right? I think that's a Libra thing. So I also went to Fendi after this high at Van Cleef and um, has been a while since I saw my girlfriend. So we were like very happy, you know, like we are like we have been shopping together since we were studying in London. So quite a while ago, we are both like, I guess, lovers of nice things. But I would say in a reasonable way, not too excessive. So anyway, I did go into Fendi and I tried on the Peekaboo uh, in the small, I think. And the color that I really like is called Dark Honey. So I'll put some videos and um, photos as I'm speaking right now. So do let me know what you think, guys. Uh, there will be a price increase at Fendi really, really soon. So I asked the essay to just let me know when the price increase is coming and then I'll make my um, final decision to go or no go especially because um you know there's going to be nothing much to get at Hermes so um yep guys I'm so happy today and I just got home and I wanted to do this unboxing because um yeah I want to wear it so I hope you enjoyed today's vlog unboxing and my thoughts and I will do a proper review of this bracelet later on um, I'm not going to wear it 24-7, I don't think, but since I just got it, I'm going to wear it for the next few days because just to look at it. Really, really beautiful, guys. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.